All right, guys, let's start off this week's lesson with the big one. So the urinary system is made up of two organs, the kidneys and the urinary bladder, with some ureters joining the two together, and then some more ureters allowing us to secrete the urine whenever we need it. In this video, we're gonna focus on the anatomy of the kidney, its functions, and how it affects the rest of the body. So we have two kidneys, which sit in the retroperitoneal space. So that's behind the peritoneum, outside that peritoneal layer. So they don't touch any of our other organs. They're protected by our lower ribs and by muscles and fat in our lower back. As you can see in this image, the kidneys are fed directly from the abdominal aorta and they bring it right back into the inferior vena cava. So there's quite a bit of blood volume that runs through these kidneys every minute. Sitting on top of your kidneys, you have your adrenal glands and there are tubes called ureters that take the waste from the kidney and bring it down to the bladder. So if we zoom in on the kidney, you can see the kidneys filled with these triangular divisions called medulla, and then surrounding those are called the cortex. And then all of this is wrapped up in a fibrous capsule. In the middle, we have the renal pelvis, which is this series of tubes that use peristalsis, kind of like your uh, intestines, to take the urine out of the kidney and bring it down to the bladder. So like I said before, the kidney acts as this big filter, but it doesn't filter in the way you might think. It doesn't work like a drain or like a screen where you have blood flow through and it just stops the fluid and then scoop it out later. The way the kidney works, it takes everything out of the blood or everything that it can and then reabsorbs the bits that it's needed. So, and then it just passes it the rest. So it's kind of like how you would clean your fridge if you were gonna clean your fridge at home. You take everything out, you look at each thing, and then you put back in what you want and throw out the rest. So to be a little bit more clear, the kidney cleans up our blood using three different steps, glomular filtration, tubular reabsorption, and tubular secretion. So let's walk through that process. Blood goes into the kidney through your renal artery, and then it splits off into these really small capillaries. These capillaries end up at the nephron, these tiny structures that run from the cortex down into the medulla. Each nephron has this little bulb and then a whole bunch of tubes running off of it. The bulb is called the renal corpuscle and its job is to take all of the fluid it can out of the blood and leave the things like blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, those type things. But like I said, take out any fluid and electrolytes, chemicals, urea, which is a byproduct of pneumonia. So it takes all of that fluid out and it's gonna run it through the tubules to filter out what it needs. So blood enters the sac and it's filtered using the glomular capsule. It's this filter type structure that lines the inside of the corpuscle. From there, an afferent artery takes the blood away with the blood cells in it, and then it'll be rejoined by veins later on. On the other side of the glomular capsule are these tubes. Each, they're about three centimeters long in length, and that's gonna carry the liquid from the glomulus down to a collecting duct where it'll be excreted as urine. These tubules are selectively permeable, meaning that they allow certain substances to pass through, and they're all wrapped up in tiny veins. Depending on where you are in the tubule will depend on what substances get pulled out and where. There are three parts of the tubules, the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. The convoluted tubules are like this twisted maze filled with ion pumps, which can push and pull electrolytes and microvilli, which allow us to absorb chemicals like glucose a lot easier. The loop of Henle is this long loop that dips down into the salty uh, renal medulla, which allows us to pull out the fluid as needed and then put it back into the blood, creating plasma. So in short, the PCT helps us reabsorb sodium, the loop of Henle helps us reabsorb water, and the DCT will reabsorb some other compounds like glucose, potassium, and sodium.